What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Character Profiles. This week we're doing the much anticipated Yusei Fudo. So in the English version he's known as Yusei Fudo and in the Japanese he's known as the same, Fudo Yusei. Simple as. During episode 1 he's about 18 years old, towards episode 116 he's 19 and during episode 152 he's 20 years old. His anime debut was in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's episode 1 on your mark, get set, duel. And here is a result of all his wins and losses. As you can see, Yusei has 48 wins and one loss. This gives him uh, a dual score from me of 145. So Yusei's basically got a win to loss ratio. Every 48 wins, he only loses once. And this is some of the best dueling scores I've seen for a main character so far. Truly, Yusei is actually one of the greatest duelists ever. Not bad, Yusei. Yusei Fudo is the main protagonist of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds and was one of the signers. He is known for and respected by many other characters in the show for his genius style of dueling, his considerable skill and his cool and clever personality. He uses a dual runner which is called the Yusei Go. Could have come up with a little bit of a better name for it though. In the English dub, let's rev it up is a common catchphrase used by him when he summons a synchro monster. He is also the foster brother of Jack Atlas and Crow Hogan, and a close friend of Callin Kessler. You say his last name, Fudo, means steadfast and unmovable, which could reflect his personality. You say his first name means planet or planetary, from the planetary gears that operated Momentum, or Enter D. So he connects all of the other gears, which represents his friendship. Huh, cool. So, Yusei has black hair with gold highlights and royal blue eyes. Yusei wears a long sleeve blue jacket with a high collar and amber gems over a sleeveless black shirt with a red symbol. His lower body consists of black jeans with amber knee pads, a belt with two deck holsters hidden under his jacket, one for his standard deck and the other for his turbo dual deck. He also wears motorcycle boots. After episode 5, he acquires a jagged criminal marker on the left side of his face. His mark of the dragon was a red outline of the tail, and is later replaced by the dragon head mark upon his defeat of Goodwin, with Crow receiving his former mark. During the WRGP, he gets a new turbo dueling outfit that is similar to his old clothes, but is more form-fitting and streamlined. Yusei has an overall very noble and heroic personality. He is selfless and kind-hearted, and deeply values the safety of humanity and his friends. Because of this, he is seen by most other characters in the show as a dependable person who they can always trust. Yusei is also usually depicted as being serious, calm and clear-minded, even in the worst possible situations. Due to this, he rarely acts on impulse and usually thinks things through before he plays any cards, always trying to stay one step ahead of his opponents. Yusei sees friends as the most valuable thing a person can have. He believes no one should ever be alone and tries to convince others who reject friendship that it is something to be embraced. It is revealed later on in the Dark Sign arc that Yusei felt guilty about the Zero Reverse incident and blamed himself for it as well as all of the disastrous consequences that had been caused the following years. He also wondered why no one hates him for any of it. Crow states that this is the darkness in Yusei's heart. While he no longer blames himself for the Zero Reverse eventually, his guilt wasn't completely gone. The idea of a second Zero Reverse or any similar dangers for the city horrifies him something some of his opponents, such as Primo, were able to exploit to break his clear mind. Yusei is shown to be highly technical when it comes to computers and machines, able to build and program seemingly anything, as he even built his own dual runner from scrap parts. Along with the ability to construct one, he is also shown to be an expert at riding dual runners. He is a skilled fighter, and he appears to have expertise in physics, considering the fact that at one point, Akiza came to request for his assistance on the subject, and later takes over his parents' job as head of overseeing the completion of Enter D. Later, Yusei learns to excel Synchro Summon via Clear Mind, which enables him to control the Enter D in his dual runner. With it, he is capable of summoning Shooting Star Dragon. However, in episode 150, Yusei instead achieved Limit Over Excel Synchro Summon via Over Top Clear Mind. It's like a godlike power that greatly exceeds Top Clear Mind itself. This kind of state could not be performed without the Crimson Dragon itself, along with all six marks of the dragon aiding him. Unlike other clear mind states, Yusei flew at very high speeds in the air rather than the ground. And when performing this, Yusei and his dual runner turned gold in colour. With this, Yusei is capable of summoning a shooting Quasar Dragon. 
So, Yusei was born in the Tops area of New Domino City. His parents were lead developers for the Enter D reactor. Dr. Fudo named his son Yusei after the planetary particle Yusei Ryushi, as he wished for Yusei to be able to connect people with bonds. As the Zero Reverse was about to take place, before dying, Yusei's father placed Yusei in an escape pod, saving him from the disaster that would follow. In contrast, Yusei's parents were both killed in the Zero Reverse and Yusei was sent to an orphanage in Satellite. Due to growing up in Satellite, he was forced to survive on what he could. Yusei developed expert dueling skills. He, along with Kalin, Jack and Crow, became part of a group known as the Enforcers. Team satisfaction in the Japanese version. Sometime later, Kalin forces a kid into a duel and assaults him after winning. The rest of the gang realise Kalin is becoming kind of cruel and is letting the power get to his head. Crow and Jack leave the gang, but Yusei stays by Kalin's side. Yusei gets in a fight with Kalin when Kalin murders a security officer. Crow and Jack held Kalin in a room while Yusei went to tell the police officer that he was the leader in hopes that Kalin won't get arrested. Before he could do this though, the securities found and arrested Kalin. And as Kalin is dragged into a security wagon, the officer pats Yusei on the shoulder, thanking him for assisting in the arrest. Kalin sees this and believes Yusei sold him out, but he's taken away before Yusei can explain. So Yusei plays a warrior deck which revolves around the synchro summoning of his monsters. Most often, Junk Warrior. He uses tuner monsters from the Synchron archetype that correspond to each warrior. He originally kept his ace card, Stardust Dragon, in reserve, using it during special occasions and as a backup plan. From the WRGP arc onwards, he puts much more emphasis on its summoning than before. His most powerful monsters include Majestic Star Dragon, Shooting Star Dragon and Shooting Quasar Dragon. Most of his non-Synchro monsters are low in level, giving him more fine control over what monsters he can Synchro summon. His basic strategy usually entails either swarming the field with many low level monsters all at once for a high level Synchro summon, or using the low level Synchro monsters as a bridge to summon the higher level ones. Thematically, many of Yusei's cards lean towards being either warrior or machine type monsters, and even his non-machine cards tend to have a machine-like appearance on them. And finally, Finally, his deck contains a large array of trap cards which he uses in turbo duels to supplement his speed spells. Even his ground decks tend to contain higher amounts of trap cards than most other characters. And with that guys, that is another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Character Profiles done. I hope you enjoyed the episode, might do another vote to see who you want next. So yep, yeah, thanks a lot for watching guys, catch you later. Oh and don't forget to leave a like, favorite and subscribe.